Hello my devils, how are we? Hope you're all well. It's a dull and gloomy Tuesday or something. It's, I mean, every day is quite, you know, dull and gloomy and sad. It's raining. Now I would like to be inside and film all of this as I'm doing it and talk you through it, but I can't. So what we're gonna start with is, we've got the badge of course, as you tell it's in my hands. We're gonna start by sanding it down. So taking off the lacquer on the front and also sanding down the edges of it to make it a bit smoother. Because obviously any indents and the like, I don't know, grit, whatever you wanna call it, any crap on there, it's gonna show through the wrap. So you wanna take it off. So I'm gonna sand it down with some 240 and then with some 600. I think I've got some 300 somewhere, so I might use some of that. Just to sand it down, get it nice and smooth, get it ready. And then I'm gonna use some turpentine sub substitute, so thinner just to kind of clean it, get rid of all the dust, anything on there, just clean up, get it nice and flat basically. And then we will start and we'll, we'll layer it, layer, I take, we'll, sli we'll slice some of this and then we'll layer it on top, cut out where we need it and then wrap it around of course and adjust it how we go. Obviously it will be a time up so you probably won't see it, but I will try and walk you through and try and point out where I can, what I'm doing. So let's head inside and get started. Update from the future here. I do want to wrap some of the parts of the car. So I want to wrap the door handles, obviously passenger driver, and also the rear door handles. I want to wrap the gear knob, as in the the top of the gear knob where it says what gear you're in. And wrap it around around there because there's a trim that's in silver, and also the bottom of it which is in silver. I want to wrap the uh, steering wheel logo. So obviously that's silver, but it's a bit tattered at the moment. So I do want to wrap that properly. And then we'll wrap the glove box handle. So where you open the glove box, there's a handle on there. It's like a, like a maybe two inch piece of plastic, uh, metal, metal, metal. Open that up and it opens up your glove box. So I want to wrap that in this uh, satin gray. Um, and obviously some other parts in the car, which I will show at some point. This will be a part one video. Um, as you said, I'm literally editing this video right now. It is Friday morning, the morning that you're watching this video. But I will be making this video part one because it's not fully finished. The wing mirror caps are drying right now, which you'll see in a bit. Also, there are a few other bits on the car that I want to do in satin grey. So you'll see them soon. So this, will, this video will be a part one. As for now, Here's the parts I've done with the car, here's the job I've done with the car, and to the bits and bobbles on the car, I'm gonna wrap. So back to the video. Right, the next day, so last night I spent the entire time trying to wrap my uh, front badge, which you can see here. It was wrapped in the front in the, the satin chrome. I couldn't do the sides because obviously the inside's in orange, so I didn't want to cover that. And also the sides was really tough to wrap and it didn't have a lighter on me. Um, so yeah, I wrapped it up in the front. It's a bit tattered, but it'll do for now. I'm not professional. And again, I'm not a rapper. It's super hot. I'm not a rapper. Oh, uh, nice. But yes. The wraps on there now on the front. I think it's pretty good to be fair. I like the contrast. I like it's, it's a bit because when I had the badge on first, I thought it's a bit in your face, it's too shiny. Whereas the rest of the car is black and orange, it's a bit of a matte color. So I thought if I can blur out, not blur out, make it satin, take out some of the shine, I look a bit better, which it does in my opinion. And it's my car, so I don't really care what you think. Anyway, so it's on there. I've attached it with some uh, hot glue, as you know, any professional does. Um, the first time I put it on, I was wonky, so I sat down in the corner, had a cry, and then I drank a lot of apple cider to take away the pain. Then I started cursing out my, my very existence. What am I doing? Uh, fun, is it? Ha! <laughs> Off! 
and then I realized, oh wait, just take it off and put it back on. So I did. I took it off, put it back on. It's straighter. It's, it's not, you know, perfect, but it is pretty much straight, um, like me. Right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna get to the front, screw this back in, secure it. Then we'll move on to the back, the rear badge. We're gonna do the exact same thing, just without the orange. We're gonna make it satin uh, chrome. And we might do some of the badges as well. It says golf on the side, so I might cover that in the satin chrome, but I might not, we'll see. We'll do the rear badge and then we'll move on to the wing mirror caps. So let's go to the rear badge. It's a bit windy, but there we go. It's all done. Uh, I think it was brilliant actually. It's really nice without the shine because it kind of it kind of matches the headlight. I really like it. It looks good with the badge. Let's get a few. I'll get a few wide angle shots for you. But I think it looks really nice with the badge. It's a lot cleaner. It's a lot more subtle as well, which I like. But uh, yeah, let's get some B wall of that. Works well with the orange actually. My knees really hurt because I've been on the floor for quite a while, but the rear badge is done. Uh, as you can see, it's all covered. Um, in the overlap there, I'm, I'm struggling to kind of wrap circles, which is annoying. So these bits are a bit annoying. And then I've uh, messed it up there. So uh, you'll see me in the time lapse. I literally shout and scream. I was very happy. But from afar, it looks all right. It's fine by me. I'm happy with that. Right, it's make or break time. So, uh, it's time to do the wing mirror caps, and I'm scared. <laughs> um, I'm really going to struggle to get it around here, that's the thing. It's just trying to get it around all the edges. I know you're supposed to use like heat and whatnot, which I've been doing, but it's just wrapping it around edges, which I'm really struggling with. So uh, let's see how this goes. And it's finally done. Oh my God, it looks so good. I'm so proud. That looks sick. I mean, some of the angles are a bit off, but I mean, that looks sick. Honestly, I'm so proud of what I'm doing. I'm not a rapper. Super hot. I'm not a rapper. Oh. Uh. Nice. Object. Okay. I'm not going to send it to my guy. I'm going to do it myself again, just with spray paint instead. So, I'm going to rip off the. Rip off. I'm going to take off the mirror caps, both of them, and I'm just going to spray it instead because this is a really good colour. Hold on, let me show you the colour. It's a really nice one. It's like that, well not like that, but more like that. It's like a kind of metallic, sparkly kind of silver. Uh, it should look pretty good, I'm gonna put it on there and then I might get some um, some like matte finish clear coat. And that'll look very nice, or satin clear coat. We'll see, but for now I'm gonna rip it off. That kind of looks like Australia. It is, isn't it? 